Hi everyone and welcome to Eat Pray Art. Today we're going to be doing something different. As you can see we've got all like pencils and paint and uh, gouache and uh, pens and it's going to be like and some watercolor pens and even if you want a Posca. So this is going to be a mishmash of a lot and I've got a rough paper here so and I've got my Bible here. Today's verse is from 1 Corinthians 13 4 to 7 okay love is patient love is kind okay now it says not envy I'm just writing the keywords okay uh, not envy not boast not proud not dishonor not sorry, not self-seeking not easily angered no record of wrong does not delight in evil not delight in evil so I'm putting the main ideas on the paper right uh, rejoices with truth always protects always trusts always hopes and always perseveres right now this is a very common um, verse so in this activity we're we're gonna remove the knots okay we're gonna remove the negatives and we're gonna only put love is so instead of the negative let's change it to the positive right so when you say it doesn't envy it is uh, let's say supportive so i'm gonna you can use whatever keywords you'd like to use but i'm gonna basically uh instead of a, po a negative word like not envy i'm gonna put supportive because we don't have enough page uh, like space on the page to put not 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 so i'm just gonna put like love is patient kind supportive not boast would be humble of course you can use proud would be um, humble also um, this would be selfless selfless um, not proud would be maybe kind oh I've got kind already so proud comes with selfless okay uh, not dishonor we can be like honor uh, whatever word you want to add in proud I'm adding selfless versus proud uh, not easily angered um, patient so patient is here um, no record of wrongs forgives you see so I'm just uh, choosing positive words instead of the not not delight in evil uh, let's say supports right so love love is support rejoices with truth so I'm going to put um, rejoice and truth okay so rejoice and truth so I'm, I'm picking up these words from this and of course always I'll cut and I'll say protects trusts hopes perseveres okay let's find a proud uh, humble humble I put not poor so not boast and humble is the same so we'll just put humble and um, yeah meek okay we can put these words now using these words the positive words we're going to use these words to add them into this and what we're going to do in this is patchwork let me show you what i worked on so you have an idea this is my journal and i worked on this um yeah 
this is what i did so using these words that i am writing i put love and then i wrote keywords like patient wins protects honors accept persevere humble hopes selfless trusts rejoices truth and we're going to be creating a patch a patch on the paper we're going to in the spaces we're going to create whatever patterns we'd like to uh, create this is like a creative activity but it's going to be uh, and some words will some patches will have words and some patches will have shapes so that's what we're going to do today right. you can either put similar colors in this like this is shades of blue or you can col put contrasting colors like green orange uh, blue and yellow or you can kind of experiment with what you'd like use gouache you can use watercolor you can use color pencils and then you can finish off with uh, a black pen i'm going to use a pencil first and on this and i'm just going to draw just be brave like don't worry about the blank paper just draw a line first and then draw another line and then draw another line so now this is like a patch and then you can draw this you can draw this you can draw this so now these are the spaces where your words will come Now if you want to make it big you can make it big I want to make it a little small because I want to enjoy the coloring in each aspect and you don't need to stick to one you can break if it's too big for you you can break it up okay so that I'm going to take a paint brush now I'm taking this paint brush because it's a little bigger but feel free to use any paint brush that you'd like or any pen uh, I'm doing it this way um, but uh, you are welcome to use any medium that you'd like okay and i today i'm going to be using gouache because i just i haven't been using gouache so now i'm just painting in the box okay i'm not painting around it i'm just painting in the box and i'm going to fill up this paper painting a different color per box like I said, you can color it in the same color tone. You can go crazy like what I'm doing and color it in a different color. I'm going to be doing it in different colors. Okay. Now I'm mixing mediums. I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be using a little bit of gouache, a little bit of watercolor. So it's it's going to be a mix of things. This is like a purple.
if it bleeds that's okay if the if this color gets onto this color it's perfectly fine so i'm using a flat brush the color is coming together now if you have paint and you want to repeat it in different parts you can like for example i like this blue so i'm going to add blue up here As you can see I'm not actually painting in any specific direction because eventually when the paint dries the strokes create a very nice effect But you don't necessarily need to just paint with brushes. You can even get a pen. Like I'm just gonna create a green. I'm just gonna color it with this pen. adding a pencil because I just want to try different mediums
I think I'm missing a little bit of orange, so let's get some orange in. So I'm choosing light colors because I do want the words to pop out. And even if you mess up, don't worry, like I just messed up here. I just put my paintbrush and kind of tried to smudge it. If it happens, great. If not, it's a different texture.
Now what I'm going to do is with my pen, I'm going to just line the pencil mark to give it a little more definition. You don't have to do this step, but I'm doing it because I just, I'd like to have, you can do this with a dip pen as well. But today I was just trying with a waterproof you know, ball pen. And I've chosen a fine liner. So I'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm going around the paint and I'm creating a, so maybe I'll draw a pattern here. Which I'll come back to. Now I like the way this is, so I'm going to create a L out of this. Now the, honestly the sky is the limit. What you choose to do with your little boxes is up to you. I'm doing love, oops, I'm doing love in a huge way here because for me the, the, the theme is love is patient. So I want the love to stand out. So I'm creating this huge love in this form. So it's very visible for people looking. Now it's getting lost. So I'm going to create a pattern on the O so you can differentiate between the L and the O. The point is to enjoy yourself, to relax, to reflect on like right now I'm reflecting on love what love means to me what God's love is to me how privileged I am to have God's love these are the thoughts that I'm thinking about while I'm creating this okay so now it looks a little bit like a train track but that's You don't need to do the same motif. I'm thinking I'll I'll do something else. Like I'll get another type of pen and I'll do dots. So your creativity is up to you, what you decide to do with your words. This is what I'm choosing to do. Mostly because I know this will pop up. That's my love. Okay, so now I'm keeping this next to me. So now I need to write patience. Now I'm going to write love is patient. I'm going to write, I'm just going to write the word. I don't need to write, do fancy stuff. 
right patient and i'm going to hope my spellings are correct patient Choose another color. All right. Of course, make sure it dries. Um, right, kind. Because it didn't fit, I'm just drawing a shape. Like a wave. And I can color it in if I'd like. whatever colors you have in hand whatever is in the house use that to create this and don't be worried about it. this is your expression this is your your painting I'm filling in this this is inspired by Hannah Dunnett, who I think in terms of Bible prompts and art prompts to do with verses, she is my number one ins inspiration. I like the spots I did here, so let me see if I can create some variation. Okay, it didn't pop up that much, but so um, kind is done, then supportive, so I'm going to say supportive, it doesn't fit, need to fit all, like you can have a small supportive.
can do that as well. And perseveres will be a big word, which you have to get the spelling right also. <laughs> perseveres can be here. Perseveres. Let me find the exact spell. Let's go to the Bible for spell check. <laughs> 13 perseveres. Haha, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> perseveres. Perseveres. Okay. And then let's right now we'll write the passage, right? So it's first Corinthians. So this let's write me here. So now we've covered the verse and the reference of the verse is there and now comes the part where you fill this with what you want. So for example, if I want to fill this with, um, this is not showing up, but if I want to fill this with lines. And now it's just up to you how creative you want to be. So if your paint is too dark like mine is, then you can use the black paint or you can use a pen like this. It's called a Posca.
you can even like if you if you want to like get a brown and if you want to kind of draw across Or you can draw a, a mountain. Like a blue. And draw. of a pattern that comes. I'm just creating a pattern of what I'm instinctively feeling. Like never ending mountains. Essentially, it's just curved lines and straight lines. Like, I feel like adding circles here. In this one, I created a border around the patch, but I kind of like that it doesn't have a border. But if you'd like, you can. Like, you can even use a different color to create a border, if you'd like, to kind of make it pop. Here is the artwork and I hope you have a wonderful time. Uh, you don't need to do it exactly like how I did it, but you use your voice, your artistic voice, to create your words and um, what you want to say 
in this. I hope you had a nice time uh, doing this activity. I hope um, you have lots of love, forgiveness, kindness, hope in your life. I hope you are surrounded with supportive people who are humble and they honor you and they protect and support you. Uh, they rejoice in truth and they're meek and selfless and they're people you can trust and they persevere and I hope uh, you can be the same loving person for another person. Um, thank you so much for joining me in the session and I will catch you in the next Eat Pray Art. Thank you for joining. Bye. Have a great week.